Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today to show you beautiful styled outfits along with some fabulous Dream Pair shoes. Now, Dream Pairs is a brand on Amazon, so you get everything like in a day or two. It is really, really fast delivery, and they have unveiled their spring shoe fashions. And they have very graciously sent me quite a few pairs here. And I'm so excited to share with you how I'm styling the outfits because I'm learning a lot about fashion recently. I am no great fashion whiz, but I'm getting better at it. And I really look forward to sharing what I'm learning with you in these Shop With Me Saturday videos. And I did want to show you, here's the Dream Pairs box. It comes in a white, beautiful box. And then inside, there are the shoes. And of course, these are flat, so it's a small box. Each shoe comes protected in its own little cloth bag. These are fine quality shoes and they're super comfortable. Can't wait to share them with you. Hey, these are the clothing items I'm going to be showing you today. And notice that they are very much like a capsule wardrobe, which I'm really getting into this. Everything is mix and match and wonderful in that way. And I am so excited to show you these gorgeous Dream Pair shoes. And what I realized is I ordered everything I wanted. Um, they, they gave me a certain number that I could order and I ordered them. And then I realized afterwards that this is the perfect shoe wardrobe. And I'll tell you why a bit later. It's basically that you can coordinate your shoes with your belt on any given outfit and you can create a ton of different looks. You can wear flats with very seemingly elegant outfits. You can wear heels with more casual outfits. These days, it's kind of anything goes. And the important thing as we get older is to look casual and elegant, but like we didn't try too hard. And that is what all of these shoes help us to do. And I'm so excited to share them with you. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know that lately I've been trying to learn everything I can about fashion. I'm trying to up my style game and shoes have always been something that has confused me a bit. So I've done a lot of research on which shoes go with which outfits, especially the new huge trousers that we're all seeing. And I found that the first pair of shoes I'm going to show you, which is this dream pair shoe, which is a beautiful slingback, is the perfect solution for all of those wide leg trousers because something about the pointy toe just takes all of that fabric going down our legs and just brings it to a beautiful point. It makes your foot look slender, absolutely gorgeous. And you know, it is so funny. I did not intend to start out with this pair of shoes. Basically yesterday I shot all of the B-roll is what we call it in the industry. Well, I used to be a reporter years ago. It was called B-roll, but I basically did videos of all the outfits I plan to show you. Well, anyway, this is Easter and I got up this morning and I realized that I wanted to wear this blazer and something about blazers. Oh, and you can see it a little bit. That's a hair tie. Basically, there is a video that I did maybe two or three weeks ago where I discussed how to wear blazers in the second half. And basically what you do is you roll up the sleeves so you get a more casual, kind of carefree, kind of rich girl going to Nantucket kind of a feel. And I will tell you that I told you something wrong a few videos ago. And that is that I bought these from Amazon and they're in three colors, silver, gold, and black. And they were sleeve garters is what they call them, 10 bucks. And I told you all about them, I was so excited, but I put a sleeve garter on this beautiful Everline blazer this morning and I realized that it showed. And so I thought, heck, why not use a hair tie? So I went to Walmart and got a bunch of cheapy, goody hair ties. And so I basically have rolled up my sleeves with a little tan hair tie. It does not show nearly as much as these things. And it really does work. You basically just put the hair tie on, pull up your sleeve, and then just kind of blouse it down over that. And it really looks nice. And getting back to the dream pair of shoes, I knew I had Easter service today and I knew I wanted to wear this blazer, and I had a whole closet full of shoes. You should see my closet. And I remembered this lovely pair of slingbacks from the video yesterday, and I thought these will be absolutely perfect. So out of everything in my closet, I used these. Basically, this is an Everlane blazer, a beautiful Uniqlo t-shirt, which is very inexpensive, and I have tried like five different brands of t-shirts. This is the best ever. Then I have a little reversible Ralph Lauren belt, this one happens to be kind of a cream reverses to navy blue. Don't know that I'll ever use the navy blue, but I have it on the cream side. And then I have these beautiful Zara wide leg trousers. And then I added these beautiful, beautiful slingbacks. And look how elegant they make my feet look. And girls, I have size 10 feet. I have boat feet, but these absolutely make everything look beautiful and elegant. And look how well these beautiful shoes blend in with my very neutral outfit. 
And that is another tip I wanna give you, and that is the idea of monochrome. And monochrome doesn't have to be what we used to think it was, which is having white, white, white everything, or exactly the same color of ivory everything. It is just kind of mixing creams and whites and a little bit of a beigey color. It's much more sophisticated to do that. And with these beautiful shoes and this great outfit, I paired again one of my favorite purses, which this is the Teddy Blake 14 inch Ava. And I think it's in gold beige. Oh, it's gold hardware and beige. That's what it is. I got this three years ago and it is still going strong. And then I realized from having experienced all of these beautiful dream pair shoes yesterday, I realized that basically I have a whole shoe wardrobe here and that something else about like wearing a blazer, something formal, is to juxtapose or go with a little something different. Don't make it all like elegant and looking like you're going to work in the 90s. Now you're supposed to take something that looks a little bit formal like this blazer and really pare it down and make it kind of look effortless casual. And that's what I did with the next dream pair of shoes. And these are these lovely beauties. Aren't they beautiful? And one thing about all of these shoes, I did try a couple of pairs of heeled pumps and I have to admit they weren't for me because I'm totally into comfort, but oh my land, all of these dream pair of shoes that I have here that I'm showing you, in fact, I found out that I ordered four pairs of dream pairs last year, and so these shoes are nothing new to me, but all of the soles are just really, really comfortable, and then this is absolutely beautiful. The braid is totally on trend, and also it has the advantage that it is puffy and that it just feels like you have little pillows on your feet but look at that. Everybody needs a beautiful pair of white sandals for the summer. And these are brand spanking new and absolutely gorgeous. And I also tried this outfit with something a little out there. And these are the gold, well, they're not really sequins. They're like little tiny gold CZs or something like that. I don't know if you can see that, but aren't they absolutely beautiful? I don't know how they get all of those little stones on there, but it is really, truly elegant and the soles are gold, and so are obviously the little straps here. And I have found, since I've gotten these, I've had them about a week, that they really look good with jeans too. Okay, enough of my impromptu fashion show from trying to get ready for church this morning. Let's go back to the items that I filmed yesterday and the beautiful shoes. And first I have to apologize, I absolutely love these Vici Camilla sunglasses, and I wore them too much. I think they look so cool that I wore them too much in the little vignettes, but do do look past that, please. I, I like them, but you don't need to see them as much. And in my next video, next Saturday, you will not see them as much, I guarantee. In my first outfit, I did want to show you that these lovely braided dream pair sandals can be toned down and just be very, very casual. They really kind of upgrade a very simple outfit. This is a little Uniqlo white tee and some Levi's wedgie jeans in a lighter wash that I'm used to. And I have the cuffs rolled, which is not something I'm super comfortable with, but I am trying to get more comfortable with modern day style. And let me know in the comment section if you, number one, wear lighter wash jeans now, and number two, if you roll the cuffs, and number three, if you have any gorgeous flat sandals like these. I absolutely love these. I think they're truly beautiful. Okay, in this next outfit, I am showing a fantastic pair of Dream Pair shoes. And I hope they're not sold out because I put them in last week's video and people went wild for them. I'll show them to you in just a moment. Basically, in this segment, I'm showing you how to style these new floppy linen pants. These are from Zara and they're absolutely wonderful. I love it that you're getting that model look that you always see where the ends of the pants are basically almost on the ground. And I have it paired with this beautiful Zara halter top tee. And I actually still have the tag on this one because this is a small and I've ordered the medium in the white and the black and the striped because I'm not sure that the small may not be a little too small and maybe when I wash it, I'd probably rather have the medium, but I do love this, absolutely gorgeous halter top. And I have it paired with that Ralph Lauren reversible belt on the ecru side or the ivory side, and these are fantastic. I absolutely love these shoes, and not only are they gorgeous, they are super comfortable, and like I say, I hope they're not sold out, but it is worth coming back for because these are fabulous shoes. These make those floppy pants totally make sense. They have the beautiful straw accents here. They have a beautiful, beautiful clear plastic piece there, and I have to say from a different shoe company last year, I think it was the drop, I ordered like four pairs of these plastic shoes and they always hurt me. I could wear them about an hour and then it was like, get me out of these things. 
but these are super, super comfortable. Something about the way they design their shoes is just meant for comfort, and they're also very beautiful. And look at that cork platform there. And it is not so high that we over 60 can't handle this. I was so happy that it wasn't like this high. I saw another YouTuber doing a video about these shoes and she showed a heel height about like this. And she said, well, these aren't as high as I normally order. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's what it's like to be in your 30s, I guess. But these are absolutely beautiful and quite wearable for people in the second half, shall we say. Now, not only are these gorgeous wedges perfect if you're a little bit dressed up with those long trousers, they are fantastic on a daily basis with your jeans. Here I have them styled with some Levi's 724 straights. They're high-waisted, they're gorgeous. It's more of a medium wash. I really, really like them. And I love the fact that you can really see much more of this shoe, this beautiful shoe, that you can see in the trouser pants. And then I have it paired with a wonderful Ralph Lauren purse. And here it is, and I love this. And this is a good example of, in a purse, spending a little bit more money because this was a little bit pricey being Ralph Lauren, but I think I will have this for years. All of this cognac stuff here is leather, and then it has that beautiful logo there from Ralph Lauren. Absolutely love this bag, and I think it goes perfectly with those woven shoes. Now, in this next outfit, I'm going to be showing these black Dream Pairs wedges and they are absolutely gorgeous and super, super comfortable. It has the full size wedge here, but again, it's a, it's a handleable wedge. It's not super high, and it has the beautiful, very in-style braid there. And again, this braid is so comfortable and puffy. It just feels great on your feet. And on top, I have a Banana Republic shell, and I love this. And this is a great basic. You will have this in your closet for years. I have this shell on. And then I have this Ralph Lauren reversible belt. Wait a second, is this it? No, this is the wrong one. This is the one that is blue to ecru. Let me get the right one. Here is the black one that I'm showing there and it is cognac on one side, very usable. It is a very good bargain to have a belt that you can reverse like that. And on top, you can hardly see it, but I have a gorgeous little Amazon cardigan and they're super reasonable in price. I must have this thing in four different colors, but I, I decided to wear it in black. And it just basically acts kind of like shoulder pads. It gives you a little more of a heft, a little bit more like you really did try to loop a cardigan around your shoulders. Absolutely beautiful. Those are the Levi's 724 straights, but I think this is a gorgeous outfit and it is very simple things and these gorgeous classic shoes just finish it off nicely. In this next outfit, I've decided to take it up a notch to get rid of the jeans and go in with something kind of fancy and these are menswear trouser pants from Zara, and they're in a beautiful feminine beige color, but they are the trouser pants complete with the pleats. These are the trouser pants style that we hated in the 90s because it made us all look fat, and I thought, I'm not going to be wearing these because I don't want to look fat, but what we did in the 90s was we would combine like trouser pants with like, you know, a, a big crew neck sweater, and so we'd have big on top, big on the bottom, and we would look fat. Well, how we're doing it now for spring of 2023 is a beautiful thing, and that is that when we have the baggy trouser pants, we're just combining that with something rather different, which is a very slim fitting top on the top. And that is what that black silky looking Banana Republic shell gives you. It gives you the appearance that you're long and lean, and then the trousers just look like they're larger trousers on a very slim frame. Next, I wanted to show you how versatile these lovely shoes are and how they are perfect for evening. And to do that, I'm going to show you a little jumpsuit from Urban Revivo, and I have it on here. I absolutely love this. It's an off-the-shoulder jumpsuit. And again, the shoes and all the clothing are linked below. Absolutely love that. And I love the fact that these beautiful braided wedges totally match the pantsuit and just give you one long, lean line. And I have it styled with a little tiny Gucci clutch about enough room in there for a lipstick and a powder. Okay, these next shoes I ordered, I have to admit, because I see them on younger YouTubers, these kind of masculine looking, I don't know if they're gladiators, what they are, closed toe, and I thought, those are really ugly. And I thought of all the beautiful pairs of shoes I got from Dream Pairs, I thought I would never wear these, and I am so wrong about that. I absolutely love these shoes. And what they do is they enable us to have that same carefree look on a dressed up outfit, when we wear these shoes, it kind of brings it down a notch and it gives us that carefree, oh, I just threw everything on, but I look fabulous. On the top, I have one of my favorite Amazon halter tees ever. 
And as you can see, this isn't even all the colors that I have it in. And I actually just reordered this black. I've had this one for three years. It comes through the washer just beautifully. I do hang it dry, but this is the third season on this. So I did just order another one, very reasonable in price. And as you can see, I absolutely love this and I have a ton of them. Because ladies, it shows off our shoulders. And while many different parts of our body go south in the second half, our shoulders can still look good even when we're 90, which is wonderful. And I was really surprised when I put this outfit on at how wonderful these shoes looked with it. Because again, it helps with one of those new fashion rules. And that is that you mix feminine with masculine, slender with chunky, and that is really what this does. That beautiful top, very long, slim, feminine looking. Those feminine looking ivory trousers doesn't get much more feminine looking than that. And then that black Ralph Lauren belt totally brings in these shoes. And these shoes just give it, again, just a carefree look, kind of a, you know, I was gonna dress up, but I thought I'd be more comfortable wearing these comfy sandals and they are really comfy and I think they look great. Okay, now I have styled these shoes. I've taken them down a notch and I have mixed them again with that black Amazon halter top tee, absolutely gorgeous, very form fitting there. And I've styled the outfit with my absolute favorite jeans from Amazon. These are the Levi's high-waisted 724 straight jeans. And then I have that cute little Gucci red purse with it just to kind of give it a pop. And on the bottom, I have these very comfortable looking, very stylish sandals. And again, I am so surprised, but these are one of my favorite pairs. And I think these sandals really enable me to stretch out of my comfort zone a bit. Okay, in this next outfit, I still have on that wonderful Amazon halter, super versatile. You can dress it up or down. In this case, I've dressed it up and I am pairing that halter tee with these gorgeous Masimoto Duty pants. And Massimoto Duty, I can't say it, it's an Italian brand that I believe Zara purchased. And you access their website right through the Zara website. The checkout is exactly the same with Zara and the other company. But look at these gorgeous black pencil leg pants. If you are a little leery to go into the full trouser pants, these have that feel. And they have sewn in darts here, but they do not have pleats on the front. So this is a good first step if you're thinking about branching out into the trouser pants, but you're not quite sure. These are absolutely gorgeous and very, very slimming and super elegant. And I have them paired with this fantastic Zara belt. And this is a full leather sash belt, very, very wide. And this is like those Ralph Lauren belts. I will have this for years and it will be a standout piece. And this gorgeous gold buckle gave me license to go in with these fabulous blingy shoes. Look at those. Those are again, the dream pairs, a little slides and they have the beautiful little gold stones on them. I think this comes in silver too and also some other colors, but I am really surprised. When I first ordered these shoes, I thought, oh, that would be good for an occasional evening, but I won't get much more wear out of it than that. But with spring being a season of bling, where shiny fabrics and glitter are okay for evening, but also for day, these are fabulous, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of them, even with jeans. Now, this next outfit stars these beautiful Dream Pairs kitten heels. I think they're called kitten heels, not totally sure about that. But these are the ones that I ended up wearing to church this morning and I got so many compliments on that outfit. And in part, it was because these shoes made everything just look so elegant, a little more upscale than it would have had I had any other shoe in my closet, actually. And I have those paired with this gorgeous Zara halter top tee. This is a small, and I really think I should have ordered a medium. You know, when skinnies were in, I thought everything should be very form-fitting. And I'm now feeling like we look a little better, we look a little richer, if we have just a little bit of give to our clothes that we don't look like we're poured in like sausages. And then I have it paired with these Zara slit hem jeans. And I love a slit hem. Let me see if I can find it. This is what it looks like. And a slit hem is really much more forgiving in terms of your shoes. And I love the fact that these Zara jeans are really form fitting, but the slit just kind of widens out and it shows these gorgeous shoes. And again, one thing that these do, the pointy toes, is that they elongate your feet and really they, they make it an extension of your leg because this outfit is really a totally monochrome outfit. And it used to be that we were very, very matchy-matchy about our colors. And if we had an ivory top, we had to have an ivory pair of pants, an ivory pair of shoes, everything had to match. But that's not how people do it anymore. On a monochrome outfit, they basically can do white, beige, tan, they just kind of mix things beautifully. And I think it creates a richer, more elegant look. Well, thank you to Dream Pairs and to Arison for sponsoring this video and sharing so many wonderful shoes with me. I really do appreciate that. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and 
For those of you who follow my channel, you know I did a very personal, kind of a raw video about my, at times, loneliness in the second half, and I'll link that video below. I was amazed at the number of women who understood that other women can be sometimes mean and make us feel a little bit alone, although I guess we only feel what we feel. We're responsible for our feelings, but basically that got me thinking about when you're feeling bad, what should you do? You know, should you try to think positive? Should you be grateful? You know, all of those things are good things. But one of the things I learned, and I shared this with you in the video, is when we're lonely sometimes, instead of just sitting there feeling lonely or feeling depressed about ourselves, really we should just reach out to someone else and simply ask them how they are. Either text them or call them and just say, you know, Janet, I was thinking about you and I just wonder how you've been lately. And you know, I have been doing that recently in my life and it is amazing the number of people that are starting to kind of sort of flock to my life. We had actually, we went out to dinner with one couple Friday night, another couple Saturday night. And believe me, that is not how our life normally goes. And I think it's because I am starting to think, well, the text goes two ways. And if I'm feeling lonely, I can text someone else and see how they're doing. You know, half the time when we reach out to someone else, they say, you know, I've been thinking about you and I've been feeling kind of lonely. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our day, if we start to feel down or depressed, let's not close in on ourselves and shut the door and just feel depressed. Let's think, who can we reach out to and make their day a little better? Because when we do that, our day gets better too. Take care, and I'll see you next Saturday at Shop With Me Saturday.